Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to graph this ellipse. I'm sorry, not ellipse. This is a parabola, um, as well as identify the vocus and the directric. So um, the first thing we want to do is be able to um, identify what type of parabola is going to be. And I, I can do that by looking at what, is, what variable is going to be squared. And you know, if we were, were to expand this, we'd see that y plus 2 squared, that our y coordinate is going to be, our y variable is going to be the one that's going to be squared. Um, and therefore, when we have a y squared, we know that our parabola is going to open up to the uh, right for you or to the left. And I'm going to want to make sure I use the equation to help us identify the vertex and the focus um, or our value of p with the equation that looks like that, which is y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. OK. Um, so when looking at this problem, When looking at this problem, what we want to be able to do is identify, well, what is h and k? Well, h and k represents our vertex. And our vertex, which I said is h comma k, where h represents the x-coordinate of the vertex, k represents the y-coordinate. So you can see in this case, it's going to be opposite of h, opposite of h, opposite of k. So opposite of 1 is negative 1. Opposite of 2 is negative 2. So by graphing this, I can just go on and plot my vertex, which is at negative 1, negative 2. That's your vertex. Now remember, by looking at y squared, we know that the graph even opens up to the right or to the left, right? So we need to determine, well, which way is it going to be? And to do that, remember the graph, the parabola is always going to open up to where the focus is at, right? It always opens up into the focus of a parabola. So we need to determine the where is the focus. Well, the distance from the vertex to the focus is the value of p. And what I can see is 4p is equal to 4. Right? These are both multiplied by your x minus uh, your h. So I can say 4p is equal to 4. Divide by 4, divide by 4, p equals 1. So therefore, if I just go over one unit, there, that is going to be my focus. Now I know that the parabola is going to open up to the right. Um, what's also important, nice about this, is we know that the um, axis of symmetry goes through the vertex and the focus. And when we're trying to identify the focus, well, we found the focus. So we know the vertex is negative 1, 2. All I did was move to the right to find the focus. So my focus is going to be 0, negative 2. And now the last thing I need to do is identify the directrix. Now the directrix, um, the definition of the directrix is whenever you take the focus and put it to any point on the parabola, the distance from any point on the parabola to the focus is going to be the exact same as to the directrix. So from my vertex, which is a point on the parabola, to my focus is 1. That means the distance from that vertex to my directrix is also going to be 1, but it's just going to be in the opposite direction. It's also important that you understand that the directrix and the axis symmetry are perpendicular or orthogonal or create a 90 degree angle. So therefore, I have this vertical line at negative 2. So when I have a vertical line, I'm just going to say x equals negative 2. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you uh, graph a parabola, as well as identify uh, the focus and the directrix. Thanks.